Thanks for joining us today at HXGN TV. I'm your host, Neville Judd, and today we're discussing innovation in turf management. Joining me on my far right is Doug Schmuland, who is Vice President of Global Business Development for Hexagon Agriculture. And on my near right is Executive Vice President uh, Regis Luther of uh, Smart Path Systems. Gentlemen, thanks very much for joining us. Thank you, good morning. So uh, Regis, we'll start with you. Tell me a little bit about Smart Path Systems. So Smart Path is uh, adding precision turf management to an otherwise part of the business that doesn't have uh, precision guided control. And what we found at Smart Path is the implementation of the control can not only save 20 to 30% of the time and man hours on the machine and fuel, but also it allows very expertly crafted turf similar to a golf course by any level of uh, operator. Okay. So for a layman, explain to me why there is a need for turf management. You refer to a golf course, you know, golf course application. Right, so these are for in uh, industrial size turf management machines, such as large government facilities, airports, golf courses. Typically at a golf course, you'll have one highly trained individual that can manicure the areas to look beautiful. Right. And here our system can both replicate those areas as well as you just mow the border and then the system will give you the uh, best way to mow it and also cross cut it. So you can have expertly manicured lawns everywhere at any size up to including airports. So is the demand mainly from, from golf courses or are there other applications there where it might be? Uh... Any large industrial uh, mowing facility. So um, Doug, let's uh, talk about um, the, the partnership between Hexagon and Smart Path. Um, tell us a little bit more about how you've partnered. Well, when Smart Path approached us uh, about a year ago to be involved in this business, we at Hexagon saw a very interesting opportunity to move into a market that was not serviced at all. Right. And what it required was numerous uh, Hexagon companies to be involved in this project. Uh, the, the main work was done by Hexagon Agriculture in Florianopolis, Brazil, which did the machine control functions, learning how to steer a lawnmower, how to control it to, um, in different sizes and, different, and uh, different configurations. And then we worked with companies like Novotel and uh, like a Geosystems to provide other positioning portions to this. So it was really a Hexagon solution moving into a new startup company that we saw great potential in the marketplace. So Regis, what was it about Hexagon that uh, made Smart Path decide to approach Hexagon? Probably several areas. One is, as Doug described, is the scale of Hexagon, uh, the expertise. And uh, what we found is the relationship with the team from Hexagon in Brazil, they're the ones that are doing the key innovation for Smart Path. We're able to combine our software systems from the Smart Path software engineers to right. Hexagon side and really we've been able to outperform any other option available to Smart Path. Okay, and Doug, is this uh, sort of in a, a trial process? When could we expect to see this kind of solution in the market? Well, we've been working with Smart Path on a daily basis for about the past six months, and the, uh, the actual product is in its final uh, development stage, moving into large-scale testing, and Regis can perhaps explain a little bit about that. But we see this being introduced into the market in Q3 of 2016. And uh, where it goes from there is to be determined, but we have uh, really strong plans for this. Okay. And are you picking up on, there's obviously a demand for this, but how, how tangible is that? I mean, have either of you been approached for this kind of, uh, this kind of solution? I'll let Reed just speak more clearly to it, but we see that there's tremendous worldwide uh, need for this, for this product right. in multiple markets. And Regis and uh, SmartPath have secured some very significant players in the world to be their marketing partners for their product. Cool. So our key partner we've approached, uh, who has multiple dealerships across North America, we've approached their six largest dealerships, explained the system to them. The reception was uh, equally positive from all dealers. So they're looking forward to contributing in the beta test in the near future in Q3 of 2016. Exciting times ahead. Gentlemen, thanks very much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Cheers.
So we'd like to thank our guests, uh, Doug and Regis. Uh, if you'd like to learn more about Hexagon Agriculture, visit hexagonagriculture.com. And to watch more episodes of HXGN TV, uh, visit hxgntv.com. Thanks very much for watching.